Hi, welcome to Bob's Daughter Designs. I am Bob's daughter, Michelle, and today I'm going to show you how to do this beautiful and vibrant and super groovy tie-dye cup. Stick around. So grab yourself a prep tumbler and the paint colors that you want to use and spray the colors in a swirling diagonal direction. I use the most fluorescent neon paints I could find because I wanted my tumbler to be super bright and this is where you're going to get that real vibrant colors from this paint. Now while I'm painting this cup, let me tell you about my inspiration for doing this tie-dye cup. I had a friend find a picture out on the internet of a tie-dye cup, and it was from a lady um, who had a page called This'll Do Nicely. It's T-H-I-S-T-L-E, Do Nicely. And with her blessing, I was able to re recreate this cup with my own method. And um, But I wanted you to know, if you have a chance, pop on over to Thistle Do Nicely on Etsy and have a look. And next up is glitter. Here I am in my mask, and that's because I use the epoxy method for applying the glitter. I think it gives a better full-on coverage and um, for me I'm really allergic so I gotta wear my mask gotta wear my PPE um, so those toxins don't get into my lungs and make me sick so what you want to do with the epoxy method is just make sure that the cup uh, excuse me that the cup has got a nice thin layer of epoxy enough for your just enough for your glitter to adhere to and um, nothing more I'm using Mica Mermaid Glitter Treasures Love is Love Bundle. It's the ultra fine glitter in neons um, and it's got great coverage and great sparkle and very, very vibrant. So when I started glittering this tumbler, I just started putting the um, glitter in the parts of the paint, the corresponding glitter colors for the paint, and I just laid it down very sparsely and then I went again, I went back again, excuse me, and um, I started adding the color a little bit thicker as well as doing a little bit of uh, the ombre and the mixing of the colors. And I did that by, by holding the glitter up pretty high and letting it kind of fall in and uh, mix with the other color. Now this tumbler is super forgiving, so your ombre doesn't have to be perfect. It's just got to be kind of mixed together. You just don't want to have super sharp lines on your paint, your varying paint colors. And when I finish glittering this cup, I'm going to let it sit and dry for about an hour. I am using KS Resin's Lickety Split Facet Epoxy, so it's only going to take a little while for it to dry and so I can move on to the next layer. So here's our cup, all dry with a layer of epoxy on and ready to go to the next step. I'm going to add a couple of drops of Tim Holtz Crimson Alcohol Ink into my epoxy. Just a couple. Um, it depends on how deep you want those stripes to look. Um, and what you want to do is just start to kind of paint those 
stripes on going in the opposite diagonal swirly direction that you did with the paint and the glitter. And you're just going to kind of start painting them on. And the idea is you want them to look like they're swirling one way on the bottom and swirling the opposite way on the top. And it's going to kind of look like a hot mess as you get going because really what you're trying to do is just get that color on. All right, as you're painting those colors on, now you want to take your popsicle stick and you want to try and um, lead them into the right direction. And um, you don't want to make it, your lines too thick because you don't want this uh, red epoxy to all kind of dissipate and, uh, and meld together. You want very specific lines. You see, I changed directions because I don't want those swirls to start going around the cup. I want them to stay in the direction I want them to stay in. And I'm using just a little bit of heat because I want to make those swirls at the top and bottom very pronounced. One going one way, the other going the other way. So now what I'm going to do is literally just finger paint those lines down the cup. And this will get them going in the direction that I want them to go in. Plus, it actually pulls away the red colorant from the uh, cup underneath. So it really allows those colors to shine through. So, like I always do, I end up changing my mind, second guessing myself, and I decided I wanted to have a little bit more red pronounced line on this cup. So, I mixed up more, some more epoxy, excuse me, and I added darker red lines on this particular cup. Um, I just wanted it to be a little bit more pronounced. All right, we're at the home stretch. I let that uh, red epoxy dry, and now I've got another layer added on, and we're gonna do the same thing with some white in the epoxy. This time, we're gonna be a little bit more careful about going through with our popsicle stick. We're not just gonna kind of toss that color on. We're gonna guide it a little more because we are not gonna use our fingers to paint this, uh, the white epoxy on. 
this white is just really there to kind of highlight the swirls so you're not going to have as much um, you can have as much or as little as you want um, but in this case it's just there to kind of highlight the actual swirls And we're down to the final steps um, on this cup I usually put another layer of epoxy and add a little glitter into that epoxy just to give it a little extra oomph um, go ahead and hit it with your heat gun again to make those swirls go around there she is man she is a beauty I really love this cup and I really love that you stopped by and we could do this together thank you so much and until next time thanks for dropping by Bob's Daughter Design